All right, it is the Shepherd is at Harmony Farms here. I thought today would be the perfect day to talk about what 25 sheep eat in a day. Never had, well, at least in the time that I've been managing them, had the sheep in confinement situation to where we're like feeding them everything that they're eating. They're usually on pasture, grazing 100%, aside from a mineral block or a protein block that we'll put out for them. And that, for us last year, lasted from March all the way through about the end or middle of January. In January we started doing some hay supplementation where we would move them to new paddocks and put the hay out free choice. So they would be doing about half hay and half grazing. Then once this winter storm hit we were feeding them a hundred percent input food which is hay, grain, pellet supplementation, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna show you what we are feeding the sheep in confinement for a day. Um, we are on a pasture-based system pretty much 100%. Once the spring comes, they are just eating grass and we leave the mineral block out free choice. Well, this is my first overwintering strategy plan. It might be overkill, you know, protein block plus mineral block plus all the other supplementation. But being my first time, I'm like, I'd rather be safe than sorry and have no regrets. You know, I'd hate to get through my first winter, have deficient animals, and be feeling it for a really long time. It's all going onto my spreadsheet, my farmer spreadsheet. At the end of winter, I'm gonna be evaluating what my costs were. I'm gonna be continuing to do my research and strategize, re-strategize, economize, all that stuff. Um, but I think one of the biggest deals is just keeping a record of it all. And that's what I'm doing. I'm keeping a record of absolutely every bag of pellets, absolutely every bay of, bale of hay that we are feeding um, so that I know exactly what my costs are at the end of winter. Exactly what I fed literally every day through this stretch of time. And I think that's going to help me to hone and refine in the coming years. Um, so that is my plan and that is what I'm doing. All right, so I am talking about what my 25 sheep eat in one day in confinement. Like I said, we are on an entirely pasture-based system. We are in East Texas, so they graze, they eat grass, it's free. Just put out a little bit of a protein or mineral block for a majority of the year, but with winter storm, coming through Texas, we are in a confinement situation for just a week while we wait it out. So I am giving you what my sheep eat in a day. So for context, we have 25 ewes, two lambs born off season, and a ram. Probably about half to three quarters of my ewes are bred, so they are with lamb, and their nutritional needs are kind of higher according to that. So with all that context, we feed two square bales of hay, a 25 pound bucket of what is right now a pellet crimped oat mix. I'm pretty much just using the crimped oats because we had two bags of it on hand so I'm just using it because it's what we had on hand. I'm gonna be feeding all pellets here soon once we run out of those so it's gonna be 20 to 25 pounds of pellets in addition to the two bales of hay. We keep a mineral block out free choice and I'm also putting out an 18% protein block as well. 
they can eat on this free choice it's not a standard ration and typically um, this is the this is the mineral block and this lasts them you know anywhere from one to four weeks just depends on what season it is they'll just go through it as fast as they need it essentially and what is under here is a protein block and it is 18 percent protein with some other mixture in it again same thing they'll eat it kind of as they need it free choice it'll last anywhere from three days to ten days they go through this one a little bit faster in addition to all of this, we are bucketing down about 10 to 15 gallons of water every day because our pipes are frozen right now. So that's about what sheep eat in a day. My sheep anyways, please do your own research before copying and pasting any of this information. Just sharing what I do on a day to day to keep my sheep fed in confinement during this super winter storm for Texas. So what does all of this cost every single day? So two bales of hay at $8 a piece, that is around $16. Plus half a bag of pellets at $13, that is an extra $6.50, bringing us up to twenty to fifty. I'm having to do some fast math here. Hope I'm right. Twenty-two fifty. Then our protein and mineral block, I would say those are about $3 a day because they don't eat a whole one in a day. We're at $25.50 per day for 25 ewes, a ram, and two lambs. Now the lambs don't actually eat anything, so that's why I didn't really count them in the cost, but that's what it costs. Around $26 for 26 sheep in a 100% confinement fed situation for winter. The water doesn't cost anything except for all the trouble that we are going to to bucket it down right now. And that's pretty much it. I hope that helps you. And that actually helps me too, as now I realize we're at about a dollar per sheep per day overwintering if we are providing 100% of their nutritional requirements. And I will be really glad when the grass starts to grow again because this is way more expensive than just letting them eat grass. If you guys want a full list with close-up pictures of the stuff that we're feeding our sheep, um, just sort of to have as a reference in case there are any absolute beginners out there, click on the link down below and I will email you a complete list with pretty detailed pictures in case you want to go to your local store, tractor supply, whatever, and pick up the same things. But like I said, make sure to do your own research based on your specific context and so forth. This list might just provide some insights and maybe a good starting place for anyone who is new in sheep. I was scared for my life in there. What a way to go. You just see that, you know, in the headlines. She died feeding sheep. Puppies are absolutely obsessed with this this microphone I've got on my camera. So every time I set it down, they attack it. I just had a time. It's got dog mouth stuff all over it right now. If you notice any compromise in sound quality, it's because they ripped the microphone off my camera. So the steers are doing just fine. The only obstacle we had to overcome was that the pond is their main primary water source and it was frozen over. So what we did was we just busted up that surface ice um, and then we're feeding the protein supplement right here along the bank so that they kind of are aware of where that access point is. But they're doing good.
Winnie. Winnie's doing good too. He's got the thickest coat of everybody here, so I think I think he's gonna survive. He's been out with the steers. He's kind of got attitude problems, but. All right, we are in day number five in the corral. Did not expect to be in there this long, but it keeps snowing. So we are reloading it with some fresh bedding. We had that initial ultra thick pile. Needs a little refresh, so we're just gonna pile more on top of it. And then once all of this melts and is done and they're back out to pasture, we're going to, Lord willing, scoop it out and apply it to our pasture as fertilization. I heard somebody say that a barn will never be smelly as long as there's plenty of bedding in it. So if anyone could weigh in on whether that's true or not, please leave it in the comments below because I am curious. That whole bedding refresh took about 37 minutes total. There were two guys helping me scoop, and um, then I was spreading inside of the barn. So that total took about 37 minutes. So I guess you could triple it if I was doing it by myself, an hour and a half. <laughs> that's how country boy, that's how country boy back there feels about refilling the bedding. But no, they look so comfortable in here. We've got a big, thick, cushy layer of hay going on. I'm not sure how long we're gonna stay here. Probably at least two or three more days before the pasture is thawed. You know, there's no use putting them back out on it in snow. Did you just hit me with another snowball? Anyways, at least two to three more days, but they are situated and uh, thick, thick bedding. I'm excited to use this as pasture fertilization once it's all said and done up here, so. Did you know I'm starting a work camp for teens? It's like you, keep them off the street. Yeah, that's what this is. This is the Shepherdess channel, but also a work camp for, for teens to keep them off the street. <laughs> the <laughs> They're trying to swim, but they can't. Pond is frozen over. You did a good job making that nest. Thank you. <laughs> you uh, you've always cared about animals a lot. <laughs> you have to, Grace. But you're better than me. Yeah, that's why that's why we're farm partners so that you can inject some compassion into my yeah. rogue capitalism, and I can inject maybe some economy into your yeah. compassion. I do lack a little bit of that business mind, you know. Yeah. It's like we click. So we're just together. So right now you're making a nest for the ducks who don't know what to do with themselves. They've probably never seen the ice on the pond. They're trying to swim or something, I don't know. Okay, good work. So we have all these birds. It's just so many of them. They're just covering the ground and we've got a little bit of a feeder up by the house. And they're just all over. I'm guessing they're just hungry because they're covering the ground and actually some of our cats have gotten a couple of them. Um, but it's really interesting. I guess this was the south that they traveled to for the north and it just, they didn't expect to not be able to find food this week, so. That is it for what 25 sheep eat in a day. Thank you guys for watching. If you would like to support this channel, please visit patreon.com forward slash the shepherdess. It is my mission, honestly, with this channel to kind of inspire a next generation of young farmers. And I'm just doing it by being honest about my journey, what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. So if you have caught that vision, please consider 
heading to patreon.com forward slash the shepherdess to become a monthly supporter of this channel. I'm going to continue to prioritize bringing you guys value through free worksheets, showing you the ins and outs of day to day, and just the normal stuff.